Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. So today we're going to be making chocolate covered strawberries. Make sure your strawberries are all the way dry. Get your chocolate morsels. I got them from Walmart. Make sure you have a uh, microwavable bowl for the melting of the chocolate, FYI. Pretzels, Walmart. Meat tenderizer, I use it to, you know, get all the pretzels crushed up and whatnot. Almonds, I got those from Kroger's. I'm gonna crush those up as well because you're gonna be using those for the strawberry toppings. It wasn't working in that bag, so I had to put it in that bag, another Ziploc baggie. And you also wanna make sure you leave um, a little opening so the air can um, come out, so it's easier to crush them. Microwave. And I put, I think I put it in there for about like a minute and a half and it actually burnt because it was not a microwavable bowl. So you're gonna see a different bowl change. So I had to use a different bowl and that one was uh, very much so microwavable. But as you can see, this is my dance break. I love dancing, so dance break. <laughs> Still not done. Hey, 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 hey. So yeah, this is, I changed the bowls or whatever, but um, if the consistency of the chocolate is still too thick, like this, you see it's still kind of clumpy. What you're gonna do is add vegetable oil, coconut oil, any kind of oil, almond oil, whatever floats your boat. Just pour a little in there and then to it gets to the consistency that you would like. Not too thick and not too thin. Um, wax paper flat pan and then your other bowls for your toppings which is the almonds and the pretzels it'll be easier for dipping when you have a um have them in a bowl a little bowl or whatever I was going to hold the back of the stems but they were kind of weak so it was, yeah. Oh, and it's a good thing that you uh, twist them clockwise and counterclockwise. The, here we go. So yes, I had to use the toothpicks to actually like grip it more because the stems were just like falling off and whatnot. Dipping them now into the toppings. I think that's almonds right now. And I think that's pretzels. Yeah. Turn, baby, turn. Ay, ay, ay. It's good to, you know, turn them so it can uh, get solid faster and, you know. Okay, so I believe I'm almost finished. And voila. You're gonna to have to chill them for like 13 minutes or 10 minutes or so. I'm back. Now I'm just gonna place them on my decorative plate so they can be served to my company, <laughs> family and friends. And they enjoyed these so much. They were literally gone in three minutes if that i don't even think they last that long as soon as i was like okay guys you could dig in gone i literally had to take like eight strawberries and like ditch them away <laughs> they were literally going in on them but that's a good thing i like when people eat my foods and my treats and stuff like that because it makes me feel good because i know that they enjoy them because they're not going to eat them if it was nasty Trust. <laughs> and here's the finished product, the finished, finished product. 
and I have to be, you know, taste tester always. And it was so delicious. But thank you for watching my video, guys. And don't forget to follow me, subscribe, turn on your notifications, leave a comment and share all my videos. I definitely appreciate y'all coming to watch. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's just simply Simone. Mwah.